Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is going, well, you would have saw the title also. This is going to be my shop my stash for the next however long I feel like. Um, I feel like I did pretty good this with this last round, I guess, because I used pretty much everything in here and usually that doesn't happen, so. Yeah, I kind of like this format. So I also have my project pen items in here, uh, the makeup items at least. So I won't go through those in too much detail because I do have my whole project pen videos that you can watch. Um, but I'll just mention quickly what's in there. So usually what I do in these videos is I go through everything that I had in the last time and then I go and pick out stuff from my stash. So I'll just get started because these videos tend to be quite long. So let's just start with the Project Pan stuff because I'll just like whiz through that. So I have my Bobbi Brown face base, which I still haven't used, so definitely need to... I mean, I've used it, but not since the project because I was focusing on something else, so I'm gonna remember to have to use that. My Becca Opal, which is always a good one to have for summer because it's a bit too deep for me. I was wearing it in the video the when I did the summer grunge um, tutorial from Jamie Genevieve and when I was editing that back I was like oh this looks like it's not light enough for my skin tone so hopefully I'll get some more sun and then this will be good for me. So there's that. This is my Umbra Tint, which I'm always trying to use up. There's still so much product in here. And I was like, why is this taking forever? And I realized there's two ounces of product in here. And I believe normally in like a face product, there's one ounce. So I usually go through them quicker. But yeah, so still working through that. My Tarte Aqua Sealer, almost done with. This BDL Deep Matte Eyeliner, I really like this actually. I just have to practice more with this type of applicator. Uh, my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation looks like this. I'm getting good use out of it. This is actually a deeper foundation in my collection, so it's good to have for the summer anyway. Oh, the only thing in this little section that's not in my project pan is this hula. I just had it there because it was with my other bronzers. So this I'm going to put back. I did use it a few times. I really like it. This is just the mini size. Um, but I have some other bronzers I want to get more use out of. So I'm going to put that back. My, bro my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in my project pan. I'm gonna keep that here. Uh, actually the packaging kind of broke which sucks but yeah there's that. And my Fenty Butter Biscuit Cream Bronzer. Keeping that in. These two were kind of light for summer but yeah they're in my project so. Um, this Hourglass Mood Exposure also in my project, Tower 28 uh, Magic Hour, Cream Blush, my Benefit RSVP Cream Eyeshadow, and then all these little mini lip products. This is a lip gloss from Benefit. Sephora Cream Lip Stain. Haven't used yet, actually. This is a new product I rolled in because I rolled out. What did I? No, I didn't roll it out. I decluttered it. It was a Sephora Cream Lip Stain, but the color was really bad on me. So I rolled this in to replace it. It's the 
Amuse Bush Liquefied Lip in the shade Whip from Bite Beauty. They don't even make those anymore. Um, this little Too Faced Peach Lip Gloss. I love it. This Aveda Cherry Bud Lipstick, which I probably won't be using much going like in these months um, because it's not like a summery shade to me, but I do like it. And this Too Faced uh, Sex on the Peach, which is just a good nude to have. So that was all my project pan. So that's staying pretty much as it is. Um, yeah, so let's just get on with the rest. Um, this first thing here, this sample, I feel like it's just taking up a lot of room. I did use it, as you can see, like it's all broken, but I haven't used these. Ugh, came with a little brush that just fell out. Yeah, um, I haven't used these two. This is, by the way, Dior Addict. I don't know. You know, those like, it's like all three of the kinds of lip products they have, but in samples. Um, I did use this one, the Stellar Gloss in the shade Mirrored, which was nice. But I haven't used these other two. But I think I can get rid of the casing. But it was keeping everything together. Oh God, why is this so difficult? <laughs> I don't know. What should I do with this? I guess I should keep it in. Because those shades are summery, I suppose. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it. But I'll just put it aside for now, so yeah. Um, this Becca Prosecco Pop. Highlighter. I actually really liked this. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a good shade for me But yeah, it was really nice, but I'm gonna put it away because I did use it Oh, and also in my project pen are two eyeshadow palettes uh, Which I mentioned briefly in my last video. I'm probably changing Instead of that being like a pen goal, I'm probably just gonna change that project to a use goal because I'm never gonna pen these. And it was never my intention to pen like the whole palette anyway, but I thought like maybe I'll pen one shade in, like at least one shade in each, but I don't even know if that's gonna happen. And then I'll just end up having these here for like the next year <laughs> and then I won't be rotating through my collection so I don't know yeah but I have my chocolate bar palette which I used a few times and my modern renaissance also used um, so I guess I'll keep those here for now as well um, then I have my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. I only used this once and it is nice for summer. I think I should keep this in. Yeah. And also my Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I really like this. This shade here is so pretty. Um, Especially like on my green eyes. I feel like it really makes them look more green. So I really like the shades in here um, I think I can put it back because I already know like I'm not going to ever declutter this <laughs> so Yeah, and I have other palettes that I want to get more use out of um, This this, I think, is maybe the only product in this whole box, aside from a few lip products that I'll mention, that I didn't use one time. Um, the MAC In The Flesh eyeshadow palette. This is just not, like, inspiring, inspiring me this time of year. Um, although I do like cool tone shadows every now and then, I just feel like... I'm not going to reach for this in the summer. It's just too boring. <laughs> so I'm going to put, I do like it though. I think, 
I mean, I should test it out more because uh, this might be a palette that I would declutter at some point, but it's just taking up room in here and I have so many other palettes I want to use up. So I'm going to put that back for now. Um, this palette, if you guys watch my other Shop My Stash videos, this has been in here <laughs> for like a year. Um, and I was so sure like this go around, I was going to be decluttering this, but I can't do it. The Kristen, the Urban Decay Kristen Lian, whatever, kaleidoscope something or other with this like horrible layout. But I have to say, these are like the best eyeshadows Urban Decay has ever done. They're just so good. These like shimmers, the gold, the green, this bronze one, I love them. The only thing is there's only two mattes in this palette. So, and if you guys know, like every time I do a look, I go in with a matte, like in the crease and then I build up like depth and then I go in with the shimmer. So every time I do a look with this palette, it's always like I reach for this um, tagine shade. So it's always like an orange <laughs> with something else. And this black is actually like really scary because you just have to like dip into it and you'll have like a whole black eye if you're not careful. Like it just, it's so pigmented and blends like so, I don't know. Like it doesn't like stick down like most really like dark mattes do. Like you, you could blend it into your whole eye. So yeah, but... I didn't use these, any of these shades, but if it's, if they're the same formula as these other ones, I'm not getting rid of this. I just really like it. But because I have used it and now I know like I'm not gonna declutter this, then I can officially put this back in my collection. I am decluttering this. This is my Kaja Dream Puff Radiant Mousse Primer. This looks terrible on me. <laughs> I don't know who this would look good on because what it does is it's like a shimmery um, primer. It comes out as a mousse. I guess I'll just show you since there's no point of like trying to savor this because I don't like it. But you have to like push it ever so. Oh my god. <laughs> See, um, every so gently, and it's like this like shaving cream, and then you blend it on your skin. And at first you're like, oh, that's really pretty because it has like a sheen to it. But what happens is when it dries, it dries into like a film on top of your skin. Like it doesn't blend in like a moisturizer. So then you have this film on your skin and if you like move your face around, it cracks. Like it's horrible, especially like for someone who's over 30. <laughs> I don't want my face to look any older and wrinklier than it is. So yeah, I'm not gonna use this anymore. So I am going to put that aside for, um, my friend because she has a daughter that maybe would find this fun but yeah i wouldn't even tell her to wear this because it just looks really bad <laughs> so yeah that's my declutter um so now for the lip products um i I think I didn't use these two, my KVD Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick and my Benefit Flirt Alert, it's a red because I have a red, I have two reds in my project pan so I didn't really need, I think this might have been one that I pulled in randomly so because you'll see later, I use like an app to randomly choose products. I think that was one. Of, that's why I have this in here. Um, 
I should keep it in because I didn't use it and it's very old and it is a brighter red so it's more like summertime yeah I guess I'll do that but this I'll put away because it's just not something I gravitate towards this time of year it's like a deeper brown well actually if i remember correctly this goes on a lot lighter on the lips than it looks but yeah it's just like a brown nude that i don't need right now then i had these two ColourPop animal crossing just a tints i'm not gonna get rid of these um one of them is incomparable it's a lighter one. I shouldn't have put that all over my hand because now how can I swatch things? There's incomparable. Love that. And this one is coconut juice. I don't think I used this one because it was like too deep. Like even though these are called just a tint, I feel like they're quite pigmented. So I'm going to put those away. Um, I know I love the formula, so I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm just going to put them back in my collection. Plus, I have the two other um, duos of these, so I need to rotate. I'm also going to put away my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk I used in my last video. Um, yeah, really like this for just like a nice nude. So that leaves me with just this one lipstick here because, oh, I'm also going to keep in my Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot because I didn't use this. I used it when I first bought it, uh, but I haven't used it since I put it in my shop, my stash. But these other three can go away. I mean, <laughs> they can go back in my collection. My Tarte Maracuya Juicy Lip in the shade Mary Martini. So this product, um, these are, will last you forever because you can only click them up. It's like a product that you click up. I won't do it because, yeah. Um, you can only click it up once because if you click it up any more than that, this will just go everywhere. This is like the most emollient lip product I've ever seen <laughs> in this kind of format. Like it's almost like a lip gloss that is somehow staying in the tube because I accidentally clicked it up twice and then a whole like chunk of the product just came off and smeared all over my lips and it was like too much. I had to remove it because it wouldn't like uh, go on like evenly so yeah just to know like you have to be very careful with these but I do really like them they're so glossy and as it says like juicy lip that's exactly what it is and what I didn't know is this one actually has shimmer in it you can't even really I don't think you can see that on camera especially since it won't focus but yeah so that can go back um, this, I also love this product in the summer, but I've already got my use out of it. Um, it's the Sephora Jelly Melt. This is, like, the most interesting lip product. It's kind of like a gloss, but also a stain. I don't know, it's just really interesting. It smells amazing, and I love it. I have, this is the shade... Uh, Tango. These are on sale, um, so I hope that doesn't mean they're discontinuing them because I really like them. And I'm also going to put back my Fenty Sweet Mouth because I already know I love this product. Sorry, my battery died, so this might look a little different. Um, where was I? Um, these two concealers, my e.l.f. Uh, hydrating camo, hydrating camo concealer satin finish in the shade Fair Warm. I, I didn't like this at first, but I believe it's because I applied too much product. This is a very thick concealer. 
Um, so, and it's quite full coverage compared to like what I'm used to. So when I do use this with a small amount, I did end up liking it. So I know that I like this. I can put it back in my concealer drawer. Um, this is actually the same with this one, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Instant, wow, I can't talk today. <laughs> Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Um, yeah, this is like the same thing. You have to apply a small amount of this. At least for me, I'm realizing that's what I like. Um, under my eye is like a really just small amount of product just to like even out the discoloration but if I apply too much of this it's like very creasy and heavy under the eye so um, yeah that's how I feel about both of these so I'll put those two away oh and I found I keep losing this and forgetting that I have it this is actually supposed to be in my project pen also, but I thought I lost it, so I took it out, but I found it. It's the Marc Jacobs Blacker Highliner Gel Crayon, a mini size. It's actually like, um, I think it's too dry. <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's that's going to have to go. I was just going to say, I think I can still use it as like a waterline eyeliner, but no, it's like super dry and crumbly. So that's just going to ruin my makeup. So that's going in my empties, I guess, which sucks because I don't think I even used it. It's super old though. So it's to be expected. Um, my Urban Decay Torch Eyeliner. I love this. It's again, another color that's really nice on green eyes. Um, but I'm going to put it away. Because I actually have another one of these that I want to take, um, that I want to pull in. It's like a neon green, which I'm really excited to use. But yeah, this was Torch. It's like a warm orangey brown kind of. It came out with the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette so yeah that can go back. And this Hard Candy Rose Drench Toner and Refresher. I really like this uh, but I'm going to put it away because I use quite a bit of it if you can see here. Um, yeah so that's going back too. So oh <laughs> I'm not done. There's all this whole thing. Okay, so this Flower Beauty Heat Wave has one more chance and it's out because I've tried it. Um, I didn't like it mixed with my foundation, which I was mixing it with this. And I know that I really like this foundation. So that's, that's this foundation is not the issue. It was this product. It just gave me like a super weird like pink cast to my skin and yeah I didn't like it so I didn't like it mixed in with my foundation I also tried it as a like a liquid bronzer so like my makeup was our my base makeup was already done and then I went in with this and I found it was like patchy and yeah so the last way I'm going to try to use it is under my foundation and only like in the places where I would bronze and see if I like it that way. And if not, then I'll pass this on. I'm really like disappointed because I thought I was gonna love this and Flower Beauty is not cheap in Canada. The only place we can get it is from well.ca as far as I know. And I believe this was like $16, which is a lot for a drugstore brand, I feel. So yeah. I'm going to give this one more chance and then I'll pass it on if I don't like it. But speaking of this Wet n Wild foundation, I really like this but I'm going to put it away. This is just not my shade for the summer. 
Um, this blush from the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection looks like this. I actually thought like from the packaging that this would be more of a peachy blush, but it's really quite pink. Um, I do like it. It's just like, I don't know, not my favorite shade, I guess, for blush. This was the shade Flower Tender. So I'm going to put that away. Um, yeah. And my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. I didn't really reach for this. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> um, I can put this back. I don't even remember why I put this in. Maybe I rolled it in randomly. I don't know. But I have two of these and this is the lighter one. So if anything, this time of year, I would use the other shade that I have in this. I really like this, especially for dry skin. If you like powder foundation, but you have dry skin, this is probably a really good one for you because it doesn't look dry on the face. And especially if you use it with a primer, it almost just looks like a liquid foundation somehow. So yeah. I'm going to put that away. I'm also going to put away these Ardell Magnetic Accents. I try to use these for my summer grunge look and it just did not work. So I'm going to put them away because I think at some point I'm going to purchase the Magnetic Liquid Liner and try them with that because I still want to make these work because I like the idea of not having to use lash glue but it's just really hard to apply these so those are going away so yeah now we have all this room for new stuff um so i'll take you around and we'll shop my stash okay guys so um this is my bar cart makeup storage thing i just wanted to show you from here um, what I'm doing because I'm gonna zoom in so but just so you know this is where all my makeup is in that drawer there's all face palettes and I also have my desk that has makeup in the drawers <laughs> of the desk too so yeah and this mess here these are all palettes for I'm planning to do a summer palettes video like I did for spring so I just had nowhere else to put them and some of them I want to actually put in my shop my stash anyway so but just so you know that normally I don't have piles of palettes there but yeah let me just zoom in and uh, put this down so yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one item from like every section and then go in with my tiny decisions app to randomly pick stuff and that just helps me choose things that maybe I wouldn't have picked otherwise so that's why I like to do it that way but yeah I'll try to get like two things from every category but keep in mind I have those project pan items as well so I'm not gonna go like too crazy but yeah just so you know that's the plan so where do I begin <laughs> god I guess I'll start with the palettes. I feel like I want to pull this in because it's just like the epitome of summer. The Too Faced Shaker Pom Poms. It looks like this. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> so I'm pulling this as one of my palettes and there was something else that I really wanted. Oh yes. The Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1 because this is just screaming summer and I don't think I've ever used this. <laughs> I was so excited to get it in a boxy charm, um, but then I just put it away, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, those two palettes definitely have to come with me and yeah that's all I'm gonna pick from there for now 
but let's move up to this area okay so like back here in that thing i have bronzers blush setting sprays and fenty <laughs> lip glosses all of these here which i know you can't really see okay let me just move this this thing and right away i know i have to pull this in my fenty cream cheeks out blush in the shade fuego flush because i bought this last year and never used it and it's orange so definitely has to come with me in my summer shop my stash because that's probably the only time i'll use this shade of blush but it looks really fun and i'm excited to try it yeah i think i'm just gonna pull this for now from there because last time i said like oh i'm gonna pull one thing from every section and then i pulled like four things just from like one of my areas so yeah i do want to pull a new setting spray and I think I want a coconut one, just, you know, summer vibes. And I think the oldest one in my collection yeah, would be this mini MAC Fix Plus in the coconut scent. I definitely want to pull this in. I might be able to use up a lot of this and I should because I have two I have the lavender one and the rose one and they all came in the same set so they're all the same age and they're getting old so yeah definitely gonna pull this one in um I think that's all I want to pull from that thing for now because I also have this spinny thing here so I should pull one thing from here this is the thing where last time I pulled like three lip products just from this which I shouldn't have done because there's like newer there was newer stuff there but I've since like reorganized a bit nothing's really summery in this thing maybe maybe I should pull one of my ColourPop Sailor Moon lip thingies they're both like pinks anyway uh this one is moonlight the moonlight bundle so these have an ultra blotted lip and an ultra glossy lip in them so that's moonlight this is the ultra blotted lip in the shade bunhead and this is the ultra glossy lip in the shade sailor moon so there's that and this one is the daylight bundle that has usagi and moon tiara they look so similar like i don't know like both the lip <laughs> both the ultra blotted lips are pinks and the glosses are like peach so I'm kind of feeling this one more for like summer vibes. It's like a brighter shade. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the daylight bundle. So that's already two lip products that I'll pull in, which I can wear together or separately. And yeah, that's it from that spinny. Oh no, it's not because I do want to pull this in. This is what I was talking about before. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Jolt. It's a neon green. So <laughs> definitely not going to wear this any other time of the year. So I'm going to pull this in. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't pull um, lip liners in, which are over here because I just use lip liners like according to whatever think I looks good with my lip product so that's fine for now 
Yeah, so let's move down to the bottom part. So in this little thing, I have my bullet lipsticks and like long lip products that don't fit in the drawers and my two Kaja cheek stamp things. Um, the first thing that catches my eye is this Fenty, um, what were these called? I have to read it. Stenna Lip Paint and this is the shade Unattached. So these are liquid lipsticks um, and this shade is just very summery to me so and I haven't used it in a really long time. So I'm gonna pull that in over here. This is really not an easy video to film. Um, so these are all lip glosses, uh, more lip gloss here. And these two drawers are blush, blush drawers. And I also have on top here more bullet lipsticks. Oh dear. I should pick one from here. Right away, I feel like I need to choose this. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Plump Shine. Plump and Shine? I don't know. In the shade Nectarine Plump. Definitely need to pull this in. I don't know if they still make these. That's the shade, which won't focus, focus. Anyway, you can see. I think I bought this in the States at Ulta, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so this is definitely like a summery product to me. So there's that one. And I'll put this back for now, but who knows, like, Maybe I'll pick something else from here when I do my random decisions. Uh, okay, let me just think. So I already have a lip gloss and I have my Rare Beauty lip balm thing in nearly apricot. So do I want to pick another lip gloss? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, maybe one more. I just really like gloss, especially in the summer. I feel like for some reason liquid lipsticks are more fall winter products and glosses are more spring and summer. I don't know. But let me just show you. So I have these ones. Anything? Well, there is my NARS Orgasm lip gloss in here. There's so many summery products though. Like this Lancome Juicy Shaker in the shade Wonder Melon, I believe. Yeah, that is so like summer. I also have this Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Forbidden Fruit, which I really like. I have this Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Seychelles Breeze. These were like the summer ones I came out with. Hmm, was it last summer or the one before? I don't know, 2020 is like a void of a year for me, so I don't remember it, but there's this and it has like a coconut scent, I believe. Yeah. So many decisions. I mean, I already have the Nectarine Plump Shine, so maybe... Maybe I do want to go with this Buxom one, just because it's more nude. Yeah, it's a really like pink nude gloss. I think I'll choose that. Yeah, and then there's these. Uh, yeah. No, I think I made a good choice. <laughs> Uh, for blush, oh, I know which one I want to pull, and it's a newer product, but I just have to use it some more. 
It's the Melt Cream Blush Light in the, sh in the shade Sandy Cheeks. Looks like this. That's so pretty. Yes, that's going to be my blush choice. Maybe I'll pick another one. I don't know. And then like behind here, I have more bullet lipsticks. Oh, I see something. I see something. In this drawer. These are liquid lipsticks and I see this one here that I need to use. It's the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Orange County, I think. Yeah, Orange County. This is like a true orange lipstick and I just need to use it. I'm not even sure like if this suits me so yeah I need to try it and if I don't try it in the summer I'm not gonna reach for this shade in the fall and winter so there's that one. I don't need to pull any powders because powder is not something I rotate through I just use whatever is open so I'm not gonna choose any of these um these are metallic lipsticks which no <laughs> more liquid lipsticks maybe i'll pick something else oh and there's more highlighters in here oh dear yeah i don't know nothing super calling me right now right now i'm just picking things that are like very summer and that if i don't use them now i never will I think that's good enough from here. Maybe I want to pull one of these. These are my mini lipsticks and these two here from Tarte. I have Rum Punch, which is this one, and Beach Babe. They're both very similar. I think I want to try this Beach Babe to see if I actually like it on me because it looks very light. So yeah, I'll pull this one. And then back over here behind this thing, these are all um, single eyeshadows and my Kaja stacks. I never reach for single eyeshadows. It's like not good. I am trying to pan that benefit one, but this looks really pretty. I think I want to pull this in for like a day where I don't want to do like a full look. I just want to like swipe something on the eye. This is a Ace Bote Glimmer Shadow in the shade Cotton Candy looks so pretty. These are basically like copies of ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. This is really not going to focus, is it? <laughs> I'll try to show you better when I do like the overview of everything. These are Glitterly Obsessed from ColourPop and Sailor Moon. I don't know, maybe I'll pull those because I think I did add those to my app under like the single eyeshadow category, so you never know. Ooh, I see something else. I see this Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigment in the shade Sun Aurora. Yes. <gasps> ah. Oh my god, I have to pick this. It looks beautiful. I feel like this was in my Shop My Stash last time. 
I don't know, not this past one, but in one of them. But this is just super summery to me. I believe it was described as like a green apple shift. It's like a gold green duochrome, I think. These are my extra liquid lipsticks and like random stuff. Oh, and you know how I was looking for my Trooper liquid liner to use in my summer grunge tutorial? My, well, Jamie Genevieve's tutorial that I copied. Here it is. I knew I had this somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think that's good from here. And now, the other lip products I'll pull from random selection. Because if not, I'll just keep picking things that are super the same, like summer vibe, and I want to rotate through things more. So, yeah. And then finally, this drawer that I hope will. Yes. Oh, right. So, I have another tray of lip products in here. We won't pick any more lip products. But here is all my face palettes. It's never ending. <laughs> uh, and last time, I didn't pull any face palettes. So maybe I should, because I need to use these things. Oh, I should pick this. Alamar again. Alamar is such like a summer brand. I guess because they're from... Well, it's like a Cuban inspiration, but I think the owner lives in Miami because she's like Kathleen Light's best friend. So, uh, yeah, this looks beautiful for summer. This is the Colorette Blush Trio in medium tan. I got this in a boxy charm. Yeah, so there's, well, this is all blush, so. Keep that in mind. There's no bronzers or highlighters in there, but I think that's good because I might pull something else random from here. Yes, this is one of my favorite drawers. Oh, you know what I should do? I used to have a rule where I had to pull something from my like display items because otherwise I'll never open them because I use them like as decoration. <laughs> this is um, the Huda Beauty. There's like three products in here. I don't think I'm gonna, am I? No, I'm not gonna pull this. It's too deep for what I am into at the moment. And these are all the Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Lips, Liquid Pigments. So they don't dry down like liquid lipsticks, but none of these shades are in a summary. Yeah, no. I should pull a MAC lipstick though. This huge thing has all mini MAC lipsticks in it. Yes, there's definitely something in here I could pull. Something like bright. Ooh, like this. Good kisser. It's like fuchsia. Yes. So now I think we're done with this section. So let's move to the drawers of my desk. Okay, so this is my highlighter drawer. There's a lot of things <laughs> that I want to use. Um, let's see. And now I'm holding the camera, so sorry if it gets like super shaky. Uh, I do want to use this. This Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. This is like a OG YouTube favorite. Um, I got it 
maybe like two years ago now. <laughs> And it came all smashed up like this and actually the whole pan was loose so I crazy glued it down. Um, but yeah, it looks like this and I feel like this might be too deep for me in the fall and winter so I should pull it out now and see what all the hype is about. This is my new makeup drawer which believe it or not looks a lot better than it used to. <laughs> I can actually see everything in here. Um, and some of this stuff is like skincare, so yeah. Ooh, this. This say Dew Blush in the shade Poppy. I need to pull this out. Let me try and open this with one hand. Yes, this looks beautiful. This is a blush if I didn't say that already. Oh, sneak peek. So, you all have seen already my Too Faced Bear It All, or what is it called? Teddy Bear Bear It All palette. And I was like, I'm doing this video because I don't want to buy the Patrick Ta palette. Well, I bought it. Here it is. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, in case you were wondering, I bought it anyway. I'll probably do a video on that too at some point, but yeah. Just bonus if you're, if you care at all about that. This is my everyday makeup drawer, which always stays the same because it has my project pan items, like these two BB cream from Physicians Formula, this First Aid Beauty primer, that never ends. Um, loose powder that I never use. <laughs> My Tatcha, the pearl. So yeah, that's gonna stay the same. And okay, this is my embarrassing complexion drawer. And this is why I am sort of on the no-buy for complexion products unless I declutter something uh, because I literally have no more room for anything in here. So this drawer has foundation, concealer, and primer. So that's why it looks like this, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> um, oh, I do want to pull this. My Makeup Forever Reboot, what is this called? Uh, I don't know, Reboot Foundation, I guess. In the shade R230, because I need to see if I like this. Um, I do have a video just on this product and it's like, it has the most views of any video I've ever made. I don't know why. <laughs> And I didn't like love it. So let me see how I feel about this. Especially like maybe in the summer, I'll like it more because I made that video in the winter and maybe my skin was just like super dry. Cause I remember it looked like kind of cakey and I was kind of surprised cause everyone seems to love this foundation. And I was just at Sephora the other day and they put this back out and like the main section like when you walk in so I don't know if they maybe launch more shades of this I feel like probably not because I feel like they had a lot of shades to begin with but anyway I will see if I like this I don't know I guess that's kind of it for this drawer this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin, I leave it in here, but it's basically, this should be in like my everyday makeup drawer because I use it almost every time I do my makeup and like days where I don't want to wear makeup, but I just want to conceal some spots. I use this because it's just like, I really think the name is appropriate, Matte Velvet Skin, because it kind of just looks like skin and it's very like suit, um, smoothing so yeah but I keep it in here I don't know because I don't like it under my eyes so 
I, it's not like a full face concealer for me. I think that's it though for now. I also kind of want to pull this out to see if I still like this. This is the MAC Next to Nothing face color in light plus. It looks really not good and it's like separating. So let me see if this is still good and if I like it. If not, I might declutter this. And yeah, I think that's good then for this drawer. Wait, I don't have a primer. Um, I need to pull a primer. Oh, this one. This Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer, never used. <laughs> it looks really cool. There's like these weird bubbles in it. Um, but I actually haven't heard like good reviews, but anyway, I need to use this, especially in the summer. Watermelon Burst. Yeah, this one for sure. This drawer is my mini palettes and lashes at the back. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I was going to pull this. This. Yes, I feel like I need to use this. That's not getting enough attention, I feel. So there's another palette, but this is not a full palette. It's more like I should, um, like single, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like shades that I would just use on their own, like to swipe across the eyelid. And there's more palettes in here. Sorry for this like disgusting mess here. <laughs> I have to vacuum, clearly. Um, yeah, no. So I already pulled out, as I said, all those palettes that were on the thing over there. We're all like the summary palette, so I'm not gonna go through these. And this drawer has more palettes, but same thing. Like, I already pulled out all the summer ones that you'll see in that video if you want to watch it. So I guess that's it. Um... So now I'm just going to do the randomized picking thing and I'll do it on camera but I'll just pull out the products because now you know like where everything is. Okay so I got my app out and I figured I'd just put you back here because I might be picking from things in this area. So if you're new to my shop my stash I have all my well, mostly all my products in my app here in different categories. So I have like palette, eyeshadow, single, bronzer, blush, highlight, you get the idea. And then within each category, it has like all my products. <laughs> but I haven't really been keeping up with this. Um, yeah, but it, it should be pretty up to date. Um, but anyway. You don't care. So the first category is which palette or eyeshadow single. So it could be either or. And then I just spin the wheel and I pick something for me. BH Zodiac. Interesting. I actually have that in my summer palettes. So that's good. It's this one, Zodiac. This is actually the Love Signs palette. It's the second Zodiac palette. I actually don't have the first one, um, but it looks like this. Yes, I'm excited about that. Cause yeah, like I said, I took this out for my summer palette video. So it's a great time to use this. It's just kind of big. I don't think it's gonna fit in my Shut my stash thing, actually. So I'll have to put it somewhere else so that I reach for it. Next category is bronzer. Oh, this is a face palette that I've actually used sort of recently, the Iconic London Blaze Chaser palette. Um, I actually can't get that out right now because the tripod is 
in front of my palette drawer, but I'll show you later. But that is, that is good because there's highlighters, blush, and bronzer in there. But just for fun, let's just pick another thing from every category. So blush. ColourPop Cat's Eye. Wasn't it just in my Shop My Stash? Like last time, it's this, this guy here. Yeah, it was because the other one's called From the Moon. That's the packaging, I love it so much. It's the shimmery one of the two. But yeah, I just used this, so, nah. Because the whole point of this, of Shop My Stash, is to rotate through your collection. So I want to pick something that I just recently had in when I have so many other things to use. So I'm going to spin again. NARS Orgasm. Hmm. Okay. So that's interesting also because I only have a mini. This is my mini. And I believe I'm getting the full size in my boxy Lux, which is supposed to come soon. So, yeah, if I get that, maybe I'll pass the mini on and just keep the big one in my shop, my stash. But yeah, I think this is a nice blush for summer too. I really love NARS Orgasm. I know it's like super, overdone now like every month they seem to come out with another version of it but it's really like a nice it's like a peach pink with a gold shimmer so really nice for summer um okay highlighter prosecco pop no i just had that um, so I'm going to spin again. I just put that one away. <laughs> Laura Geller, that's the one I picked already. So, okay. Do I need another highlighter? Let's think about this. Because now I have my Becca Opal in my project pan, the Laura Geller. Now I have the face palette from Iconic London and the Tarte palette actually has a highlighter in the middle. This one. So yeah, I'm gonna take that as a sign that I don't need to pull another highlighter. So concealer. Ooh, Bare Minerals Serum Concealer. This one, this is actually the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I feel like I only used this one time and I bought this during a VIB sale because everyone was like raving about it, but no one really talks about it anymore. So we'll have to see if it's any good. I like that it's a serum concealer because you know I don't like thick concealers on me. So and now I have the Bare Minerals Concealer and the Tarte Aqua Sealer, which is in my project pan. So I think that's good. I mean, I don't need to be trying multiple concealers at once. So yeah, primer. Makeup Forever HD, okay. I actually only have that in a mini. This one. I don't even know if they still make this. This is the HD primer. Uh, Micro Perfecting Primer. And this would be good to use with the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation since they're in the same brand. Um, yeah. And I want to use up more of my minis, so that's good. I also have the Ciate Watermelon Burst Primer and my First Day Beauty Coconut Smoothie Primer. So <laughs> I think I'm good for primers. Which lip? Look at this lip <laughs> wheel. It's gonna like explode. 
ABH Venus. Interesting. I think that's a sparkly lip gloss, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. This is fun. That's nice for summer. Yeah, it's just like a kind of peachy pink sparkly lip gloss. Which I'm sure will just come across as like clear <laughs> on the lips. But yeah, that would be nice. Setting spray. I definitely have more setting sprays than that. Ooh, Iconic London. I've actually been wanting to pull that out. It's a dusty. <laughs> this one. Look at that. That's gonna be really pretty. Especially if I get more sun, which like... I don't know. It's not looking like I will, but <laughs> you never know. Um, yeah, I like this. It's called the Prep Set Glow. It's very glowy. Okay, fun. So I have this one and my MAC Coconut Eyeliner. So I already pulled the Urban Decay Jolt. Oh, tart so fine. I actually don't have any more because it dried up. So let me spin again. Starlux. I think I don't have that one anymore either. Yeah, that one also dried up. <laughs> okay, I have to update this category. Makeup Forever Earth. That was in my shop, my stash, very recently. It's more, it's like, um, this shadow stick. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to pull that again. Ooh, that one's good. Marc Jacobs Rococo. Here. Yes, I should definitely get more use out of this because these Marc Jacobs liners do not... Oh, no, no. They don't last long, so I just, I opened it and like the whole stick came out, so yeah. I really hope this still works because it's like a nice bronzy shade. Let's just try it now. Oh yeah, okay. It's a lot more creamy than the blacker one that I just had to get rid of, so it looks like this. So that'd be nice like for the waterline. Note to self, do not buy any more gel liners because I never use them and they just get dry before I use them. Foundation. I already picked two. I think I'm picking too many products this time. But, let's see. Physicians Formula BB Cream. So that is actually in my project pan. And I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pick anything else because that's now like three base products. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't wanna overwhelm myself. Last category is lashes. This is like a new category because I never reach for my lashes. So let's just see. Velour Wispy. Hmm. Okay, so these are my Velour. They're actually called Shot of Wispy. Um, I've never used these. I don't even really remember where I got them. I think it was a Sephora favorite set. Yeah, this is still like fully in the packaging. <laughs> so that's what they look like. So. Who knows? I might use these, I might not. So these are silk lashes and they supposedly have a cotton band for easy application. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to try them, but you guys know like I never wear lashes. I mostly just have them because 
I got them in Boxy Charms, <laughs> or like I just wanted to try some drugstore ones, but yeah. So there's these. So that's it. That is everything. So I'll show you what my Shop My Stash little box looks like. It's gonna be very packed. Okay guys, so here is everything. Plus my Zodiac, see how big this palette is? I guess I'm just gonna have to lay it on top of everything because I like to close my Shop My Stash container when I'm not using it. Um, did I forget anything? I think that's enough. <laughs> it's like packed to the brim. So yeah, let's just quickly go through. So in case you didn't see it well before, everything that's in my project pan, plus some stuff that I just added because there was nowhere else to put it, is in like a separate acrylic thing here. So there's all that stuff. Oh my god. Okay. So what I added into there was just this, the Fenty Cream in Fuego Flush. My NARS Little Orgasm. This Ace Beauté Single Shadow and the Touch and Soul Single Shadow. Um, Oh, and my Melt Sandy Cheeks Cream Blush. Yeah, so there's that. Then over here I have my Say Poppy Blush. I'm just gonna keep it in the box until I end up using it. My Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. And my MAC Next to Nothing Face Color. Oh, and my, what I'm keeping in for like that one more chance is the Flower Beauty Bronzing Essence and my Velour Wispies Shot of Wispy, sorry um, In this little cup here I have liquid lipsticks and like bullet lipsticks so the NYX um, the suede, the orange one um, my MAC little thing I forgot the name of already. Good Kisser. My Plump and Shine from L'Oreal. Liquid Lipstick from Fenty. The Beach Babe Lipstick from Tarte. And what I'm keeping from last time is my Benefit Flirt Alert Lipstick. The red one. Um, and then in the other container, I have lip glosses, so the ABH Venus. This is the one I'm keeping from last time because I didn't use it. The Rare Beauty Nearly Apricot. I forget what these were called. Something like Glossy Lip Balm, something like that. And my Buxom Lip Cream. And my Sailor Moon Daylight Lip Bundle. Then my setting spray is over here, Iconic London. Oh, and the MAC Coconut one is here. My two primers, the Makeup Forever HD and the Ciate Watermelon Burst, <laughs> which I just almost broke. And then this little cup here is just my one concealer. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin, my Marc Jacobs Rococo Eyeliner, and my Urban Decay Jolt. Those would be fun. And yeah, the rest is my eyeshadow and face palettes. Oh, and the Laura Geller Highlighter. So I just put my Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms here. These two are my Project Pan eyeshadows, my Alamar blush trio, my Alamar eyeshadow palette, 
And this is the Iconic London Blaze Chaser face palette that I didn't show you before. So this has bronzer, highlighter, and blush. So yeah, there's that. I feel like I just recently used this. But I don't think it was because it was in my shop stash. I think it's just because I got it in a boxy charm. I'm keeping in my Huda Beauty Mercury Retro Ray. And this is where I keep my Tarte. What is this actually called? Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. So I think that's quite enough product. Keep in mind I also have my... Um, everyday makeup drawer that has more of my project pan items in it and yeah here's this big thing and this will have to go like this or else I won't be able to close my oh dear yeah this one won't be able to close <laughs> but so that's everything I hope you like this video I love Shop My Stash videos. They're like some of my favorite videos to watch. They're very long to film, but I think it's fun to see the end result. So yeah, if you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.